Welcome to Shanghai, China. We are so excited to be here today. It is our first day exploring and we have so much that we want to do, but our first stop has to be some coffee. So let's go find that. There are so many massages and spas on the street that we're walking on. I think I need to convince Jacob that I need one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the area our hotel is in, I, it's looking really lively right now. There's so many different shops with restaurants. The spas are the thing that sticks out the most, but. <laughs> There's been like three in the past like minute. But we are looking for a coffee shop and we might have seen, we've seen some convenience stores, but no coffee shops yet. If you missed our last video, then I need to tell you that this is our 40th country, which feels crazy. But if there's one thing I've learned while traveling the world, it's there's one thing you can count on, there's always gonna be a KFC in any country you're in. Looks like we're walking into a mall of some sort. This was not the plan, but I'm still on the hunt for coffee, so maybe they'll have some in here. Okay, we know there's a coffee shop in here somewhere. We've seen this one everywhere, so I feel like we have to get it now. But we, we can't it, find it. We saw it in the airport, we saw it kind of close to our hotel yeah. and now right here. Third one. Okay, so we knew everything was gonna take longer for us in China just because we don't have any experience with Alipay, WeChat, how all of this works. So we had to scan this QR code to pull up the menu because we're not gonna order here. I guess I, they don't let you order here. You have to just pick up here. So now we're loading it on our phone, trying to order it and then get our coffee. Okay, well, it says payment success, so. Fingers crossed it works. I think we're good. I think it said it would be ready in three minutes. So we think we ordered it and <laughs> we'll, I'm sure, I'm sure we did it right. Got my coffee. I scanned this little thing, then he took away the ticket and now I'm gonna try my coconut latte, I think. It was like the most popular thing. So I just went for it. Hello. Turned out we were using the coffee company's app on Alipay and then we got some first time user discount so it ended up being 12 Chinese yuan so like $1.65 US so it definitely worked out in our favor. This guy, <laughs> he intentionally walked behind me just to stare at the camera, that was funny. Ooh, oh whoa. Coconutty. It's very coconutty and coffee. Like the, the mix between them, honestly, tastes like a little bit alcoholic. Like I know it's not, but it's really good. I like it. And now we are getting on the subway to go to our first stop, which is the Woo Garden. Why you? Don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. We also got these Metro cards on Alipay. Hopefully they work. What do I do? Just scan it? I think you yeah, just scan just... the QR code right there. Oh, oh so wow. easy. So easy. I absolutely loved how easy that was. Literally one of the easiest things as long as you set it up before you just swipe and you go right through and you do have to go through security when you're entering the subway station. That's actually never happened to us in any country before. In the Philippines we had to go through security to get into the malls but this is the first time and I mean I feel really safe like in here so that's good. It looks like our train's here. Ooh, it's pretty full. Oh my. <laughs> hey there's a couple seats. Hopefully we'll get it. So easy. All right, I'm so excited to go see what's outside. Okay, three things about this subway. I'll be quick. Uh, really, really easy to use the Metro here. That's awesome. And it's really affordable. It was less than $1 for both of us to get here. Okay, number two is that everything's English friendly. I was not expecting that. I was expecting, oh, I'm gonna have to translate everything. But no, you can just understand everything in English. And number three, everyone is so nice. Like some guy that was like, in his 50s or 60s, saw that I didn't have a seat on that first train and Jenny got to sit down and he gave up his seat for me and I was like trying to get him to sit back down but he wouldn't and he was just standing. Wow, so great. So we were technically in Pudong before and when we leave right now, it's gonna be our first views of the actual city of Shanghai. Ooh, I can see it. Ooh, pretty. This is so fun, I'm so excited. All right. Looks, nice. looks very, very modern. Whoa, that's so pretty over there. Okay, well that doesn't look modern, but behind me looks modern. This is so cool. So I believe Shanghai is known for being this super modern city with all these crazy cool skyscrapers. 
and I'm definitely feeling that now. This is so cool and when we go to the Bund later, I'm sure it'll just blow our minds and just confirm that even more. We're walking down this super popular street. There's tons of people everywhere. There's lots of police making sure everything's good, which is cool. And we're walking to the garden right now. But all these buildings are beautiful. There's a ton of them that look like giant temples, I think. Yeah. There's just so much. There's also a ton of restaurants. There's also Starbucks and McDonald's down the street. So too. cool. <laughs> I love these buildings. I feel like this moment right now is the first time I've been like, holy moly, I am in China. This is so cool. I love it. We're really excited to try foods of various kinds, especially street food. So this seems like it might be the perfect place to try it, but we're gonna go to the garden right here and then we'll probably come back here unless we find a better spot. It appears that that might be the old street. There's, There's a giant tour a group lot, behind you. <laughs> a lot of tours, a lot of chaos, but I think that's the old street right there, so I think we might be back. Should we join this tour? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Just walk with them? Just hear what they have to say. Oh gosh, we're cutting right through the middle. I don't think we would understand the language. 1559? Is that real? This thing's yelling at us. We made it in! That was all really fast. This is gonna be one of our more expensive purchases today, hopefully. It was $11 for both of us to get into Yu Garden. So we're just gonna go walk around and explore. Here's a wishing wall. It looks like you write a wish on it and then you hang it on this little wire here. You gonna do it? I would, but I can't figure out where the papers are to write on. It says one for each person. Oh, look at that butterfly. But I don't know where the one is. Right, me either. This place is really cool though. You like totally feel like you're transported back in time. Out there there's all these modern buildings. Then you come in here and it's just like, whoa, this is like probably what like ancient China looked like. A little bit of the old, a little bit of the new. These lanterns and like this little like area is so pretty with like the lanterns and then there's a koi pond in this like long hall. This is like my favorite area so far. It's just so pretty. So spooky. It was very short lived. <laughs> I didn't realize it when we came in, but a lot of this is like we're walking on bridges around water. But, like every way you look is just so beautiful. It is quite busy, but this is like the number one tourist thing to do, I think, so it makes sense. They have large feathers on top of their head. <laughs> oh yeah, they look funny. We saw a sign before we walked into U Garden and it said 1559. And I'm like, that's like 500 years ago. That seems pretty crazy, but yeah, this was built in the 1500s just as a private estate. It's pretty massive to just be one person's house, but this is nuts. I could not imagine if this was my house. Like, you would get lost all the time. It's huge and very beautiful. I think I looked it up and it said that the translation for Yu Yuan Garden means like peace and comfort, eh, maybe not comfort, but something like that. Looking at these buildings now, I appreciate them so much more knowing they were built 500 years ago. Yeah, and there's all these different plaques that say like what each building is. 
There's at least like 20 different buildings with something new in each place. This was amazing. I'm so glad we came here. It's definitely busy, but I still think it's worth it. We just exited and now it looks like we're on like a little market street. We've seen so many Chinese speaking tour groups and now we have an English speaking one. Right there. Let's join it. <laughs> Learn some facts. There is a lovely breeze today. So if you ever get too hot, that breeze comes and it feels so good. But now we are on to hopefully find some street food and I honestly think this might be what I'm most excited for. I love Chinese food so much. So getting some authentic Chinese food in China is going to be amazing. We are out on the streets now, but it honestly feels like we're still in that little area. Like all the buildings are still the same and it's really cool. Ooh, that street had a lot of people on it. I think that said this was Golden Square. Maybe it has something to do with that. Well, it's very, very pretty. I feel like it like reminds me a little bit of the squares in Europe, but like obviously the style of the building is completely different. It looks like we found our first place to get some food. I think we are in a little bit of an expensive area, but it's like four US dollars for 12 of the little dumplings or buns. I'm really excited. Jacob's ordering it now, and I just feel like this is going to be so good. Ooh, baby, those look good. We put a little bit of vinegar on it, but they're pork steam buns, but to be honest, like I would call this a dumpling, but they know better than me, so whatever. Oh my gosh, that is so good. The outside is so yummy and doughy and very thick, and then on the inside, it's just like a big pork ball. It's so good, and I actually really like the vinegar on it. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but the vinegar is delicious, gives it that little tang. This is the best. I'm so excited to try more food. We are doing a food tour tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe because, I mean, we still have a lot to do in this video, but we'll be eating a ton of Chinese food in our next video. <laughs> wow, so good. Wow, I'm really happy that we came here. And this store has been around since 1900, over 100 years old. I feel like I was really enthusiastic about that, but I mean it. There's like a little bit of like soup and broth in there and it is the best it's so salty and delicious i feel like chinese food is like genuinely jacob and i's like favorite type of food so being here and eating it is just the best just went by too fast so <laughs> <laughs> also eating it with this view i feel like you really can't get better than that and now we're done on to the next thing Oh, also, while we were waiting for our food, somebody asked to take a picture with Jacob and I. It was so cute. She was so sweet. She didn't speak any English. We don't speak any Mandarin. Although we probably should learn, but it was just so cute. <laughs> and everyone here has been so helpful. We were like walking around with our trash looking for somewhere to throw it away and somebody like pointed it out to us. That guy gave up his seat for Jacob on the subway. Like everyone yesterday when we got here, they're like, have a good time in China. It's just so much fun. Like the people have been so nice. Oh yeah, we found a family mart. Quick stop to get some water. I love that they have cups of ice here. It's amazing. Family Mart and any of the convenience stores are just so nice. We've seen Family Mart in Japan and Taiwan so far in our travels. I think there's 7-Eleven here too. Is the ice worth it? 1,000% worth it. We are making our way over to the Bund, but on our way there, we saw this beautiful park. So we thought, why not stop in? I am such a sucker for pretty flowers and there's so many beautiful flowers here. I literally just keep grabbing the camera from Jacob because I can't walk by them and not film them. As we've traveled around Asia, we've been to maybe like eight countries, you think, Jacob? Probably eight. I'll say 10. 10, Round up and say 10. 10. It's so hit or miss if they have trash cans or not. Like there are some countries where you literally just have to hold on to your trash all day. And I'm loving China because there's trash cans everywhere and there's recycling bins, which I love. This is so cool. We found like a bamboo forest just in this park. We like never see bamboo like in the wild. I don't know. We went to the bamboo forest in Kyoto, but this is so cool. We're just walking through all the bamboo and is China the only place in the world that has wild pandas anymore and they live in the bamboo forests? I think that's true, right? It's pretty cool. I know we're not gonna see a panda bear, but that'd be really cool if we did. I'm not gonna lie. This little bamboo area might be my favorite place that we've been to so far. I mean, ever has been amazing, but for some reason, I'm just like in awe whenever I see bamboo. It's just like 
it's so foreign to us. We grew up in Arizona and there's just cactus and desert. So like bamboo just feels like something out of my wildest dreams. And it's, there's hardly any people here and it's quiet. Yeah, and there's like a little cafe right here. I'm so happy we stumbled into this park. Okay, I cannot handle how cute these people are just dancing in the middle of the park. They are so cute. They got some good moves too. I love them. There's a gigantic path all throughout the park if you only want to walk in the trees. And this is probably the best spot. Wow, you can see the cars and the people out there and you can hear a little bit of noise, but it's really just peaceful. This little restaurant cafe right here it would be such a cool place there's like a bridge but people are eating in it so cool i just feel like going to the tourist things is always so much fun and they're always beautiful but it's like the little things like this where you like see the locals just dancing in the streets and you see turtles in the pond and you find random little bamboo forests like it's all of the little things and the interactions with the locals and stuff that just make a place so special and I'm just having the best time. Honestly, that bamboo forest was so cool. Those people dancing was adorable. That food was so good. Anyways, we've been here for a really long time and we still need to go to the Bund. So if we don't get distracted, that's where we're going now. But this was the best distraction ever. Well, here we are. We made it to the Bund. I think. <laughs> yeah, this is it. The map says it's all the way down there, but it might be this entire it's walkway. This view. Well, everything's tall, but there's one that's even taller than everything else. Yeah, which one is that? Is that the Shanghai Tower or something like that? I might have just made that up completely in my head. But the most unique one is definitely the one, the radio, what'd you say? The radio and TV tower. The radio and TV tower looks so cool. It looks like it belongs in like a sci-fi movie or something like that. Pearl TV tower, way over there. Shanghai Tower. And this right here I think is the third tallest one in this whole landscape and that is the financial center. Second picture. <laughs> that was a lot of people. That was a lot like of people. people. I don't know how picture. that picture looked, but it was funny. <laughs> I feel like when one person sees somebody taking a picture with you, even if they don't know why, they're like, oh, I should take a picture with them too. So yeah, we're just hanging out, taking pictures with a bunch of people. It's honestly really fun. They're all so cute and nice. <laughs> These buildings behind me are like such different architecture. It kind of looks like European a little bit. And Jacob told me that this is the customs house. There's a big bowl here. I don't know why it's cool, but a lot of people are taking pictures with it. Is it like the bowl in New York City? With the... Uh, I've never been to New York. Wow. <laughs> well, if it's anything like New York City, the bowl is there because they want the stock market to go up. So maybe we're in the financial district. So there's this sign for Nanjing Pedestrian Street. And so I don't think there's any cars yet. I don't see any cars here. Just thousands and thousands of people. <laughs> I wonder what you do here. Hopefully there's something to maybe eat. There's a lot of shops and it's loud. I do not think I've ever been around this many people in my entire life. This is wild. There's so much food, so many stores like this is, this is wild. Even though there's a ton of different stores here, and there's so many people walking, I don't know if I would stop into any of these. It's just a whole bunch of stuff, like expensive clothing, different foods, not really street food, just kind of carnival food. I don't know. It's just so interesting. It looks like the main thing to do here is just walk. And that's what we're doing. As we were walking down that really busy street, some guy came up to us because he wanted us to go to his store 
which we did not want to do, but we did have a nice conversation talking about basketball in America and things like that. But we we're like, ah, we gotta go. So we hopped on the subway, came back over to Pudong, the area that's close to our hotel. And it is just so much quieter and peaceful over here. Hey, we really like the big crowds and like doing the things that everybody says you have to do. That's fun, but it's also overwhelming. So it's nice to come back to a place like this. And now we're on our way to grab some food. We walked into this place and we just started pointing at pictures because everything was in Chinese and we could not understand any of it. And so then they were translated on the phone like what everything is. We ended up getting three things, but this might be the most favorite part of the whole meal. I'm so excited to take a bite of this because I've actually been to China before. I think it was six or seven years ago. And when I was there, I just ate this every single day. And I don't, I had no idea what it was called at the time. I just called it street meat because I got it from a <laughs> cart on the street. But I just looked it up. It's called Ru Jia Mo. I don't know if it's the same thing, but I hope it is. It's pork with some breading. Thank you so much. Shay Shay. I think this is it. <gasps> Jacob. I think it's it. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. I'm thinking about, you know, my past time in China and how I got it almost every single day. So this definitely could never live up to that expectation because like at the time I called it the best thing I ever ate. And up until this point, I still think so. So, I mean, this is a very solid second best street meat that I've eaten. When I tell you guys I have heard of street meat for the past six or seven years, I've heard about it every day. Jacob's like, it's the best thing in the world. Nothing's ever going to compare to it. And now I get to try it. I'm just so happy for Jacob. He loves it so much. This is the best. Also, the other food looks amazing too. Mmm. Oh, definitely tastes like that really good soft pulled pork and the bun is like crispy and soft and mm, so delicious we also got some fried noodles and they're like so thick and like wide mm, they're so thick but really good i'm gonna get a pepper with it see how that tastes i'm really excited because jacob said that the last time he was in China, all of the like chili sauce was like the spiciest he's ever tasted. And we've been to like Thailand and like Vietnam, all over the world. So really excited to try this chili sauce here. We'll see if it's as spicy as Jacob said. That was before I liked spicy food, so maybe it's not that bad. All right, we'll see. What if it burns my face off? It's not that spicy, but the flavor is amazing. I'm just so happy with all the food here. It makes me so excited for a video tomorrow. This dish also looks like fried noodles, but it's a little bit different. There's the peppers, that's the same. There's onions, there's egg in here. And I put some of the spicy sauce on there. Well, I guess it's just chili sauce. I love all three of these. We can't wait to go try as much Chinese food as possible in our next video. So we hope to see you there and make sure to subscribe.